Hi everyone, it's Miss Benita and I'm back. I wasn't able to create to pause the video so I had to create a separate one. We are looking at a model of chalk and I want you to look at your packet and draw what you see. At any time, pause the video so that you can draw and record your observations. All right, I'm going to start spraying and I want you to observe what happens to the chalk as I spray it. That's the sound of the sprayer. I see some chunks coming off. Yeah, the water is a little cloudy, a little white. Okay. I've sprayed our chalk model and now I want you to draw what you see and label the things that you see in this model. I'm also going to do the sand model. I'm going to show you the sand model in case I'm having problems with the pause function in this video. So here's the sand model. I want you to draw what you see in the sand model. And again, you can pause the video so that you can get some details in the drawing. And I'm going to, I'm going to start spraying this one, okay? Here we go. Oh, not a big difference, huh? It's really wearing away. Should have counted the number of sprays so I could spray them the exact number of sprays. But you can see a lot of the sand is floating in the water and making a pile over here. And we've had some wearing away right there. Okay, that was our sand model. All right, let's review what we saw in those two models. In the chalk model, I've asked you to observe and draw what the chalk look like. Some of you might have just drawn blocks and chunks, right? And then as I sprayed, I wanted you to observe what, what was happening and record your observations. Some of you said the water is breaking off pieces of chalk, pretty small ones, right? The piece of chalk is changing shape. You saw a little bit of that, but it was hard to tell. And the water is turning white and cloudy. We saw, we definitely saw that. Then I wanted you to draw what you saw after I sprayed it and I asked you to label your drawing. Did you do that? Okay, so we had a little bit of, of dents in the chalk perhaps. Some of you wrote that there was white, the water was a white, there was a little swirl of white and there were pieces of chalk, okay. Now, we went ahead and did the sand model at the same time, so I'm gonna jump ahead to that review. Okay, so let's see what we observed in the sand. A mound of sand, right? And then as I sprayed it, it was very different from the chalk model. Water makes holes or dents in the sand. We saw some wearing away. Uh, there were uh, chunks of the sand in the water. The, uh, the water broke it off and it moved it away from the mound. It was floating. Yes. And then I wanted you to draw and label it afterwards. Okay. Some of you said that there were pieces of sand in the water. Uh, some of it was floating. Now I want you to turn to this page in your packet and we're going to compare the two models and we'll answer the que these two questions based on what happened in the video. Have you ever been asked to compare something? There's an old saying that you can't compare apples to oranges. So we're going to see if we can compare sand to chalk. All right, let's look at the, let's look at these two questions. 
How was the erosion of the sand different from the erosion of the chalk? And which was more stable, the sand or the chalk? And why do you think so? Go ahead and pause the video and answer these two questions. All right, let's review. How was the erosion of the sand different from the erosion of the chalk? What did you say? Oh, the sand eroded much faster than the chalk when I sprayed it with water. Yeah. Put that right there. Which was more stable, the sand or the chalk? Why do you think so? The chalk was more stable than the sand because chalk is harder than sand. Sand is not hard. It's made up of smaller pieces. Put that there. Now these questions, number four and number five, are in your packet for you to answer, or you can just answer them on a piece of paper. What was different about how the chalk and the sand eroded? When I sprayed the chalk, little pieces broke off, but when I sprayed the sand, bigger chunks broke off and fell away. The shape of the sand changed more quickly than the shape of the chalk. We hardly notice the, the chalk's shape changing, right? Which was more stable, the sand or the chalk? Why do you think so? The chalk was more stable because it is hard and solid. The sand was not stable because it is a loose material. All right. Let's review. How, let's review how we use these models to represent landforms. Both landforms made of solid rock and landforms made of loose material erode at different time scales. We saw that with the chalk, we probably would have had to spend more time with the sprayer to get the same amount of erosion as what we saw with the sand. A landform made of solid rock might take hundreds, thousands, or millions of years to erode enough to observe a big change. A landform made of loose materials might erode the same amount in a day. All right, everyone, thank you so much for working with me through this part of our lesson, and I will see you soon for the next. Bye for now.